is a very auspicious occasion to mark the start of a very auspicious project. Here we are starting probably the most amazing building in the history of this university and a very, very important building in the history of this country. Um, my role is to make a few opening remarks and welcome you also. I particularly want to welcome uh, distinguished Professor Neo Kong. Of course, the, 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 the function would have been a flop without you, madam. So it's really important that you hear. Thank you, the Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Mabizela. I was really thrilled to see colleagues from Mintech who made the, the, the trip down to be with us because they've walked such a long uh, road with us on this project. So thank you so much for making time to be here. Uh, representatives of the uh, Makanda Municipality, uh, the SRC President is here, and all the colleagues and students uh, that have come out to celebrate with us today. Um, I welcome you all. This is a momentous day for research at Rhodes University. This building represents the celebration of scholarly research at Rhodes and it's been a very long time in the planning. But long before we started planning this particular building, the journey began that led to this building almost exactly 40 years ago, uh, not quite today but this year, in 1992 when the Department of Chemistry appointed a relatively recent doctoral graduate from the University of Western Ontario as a lecturer in chemistry. And her name at that time was Dr. Tabella Neocon. Now I'm sure that the selection committee was very excited about this new hire at the time, but I'm equally sure that they did not have a clue about what was going to happen at this university as the decades unfolded. It's forever be a symbol of inspiration that will remind all who study and work at this university that it doesn't matter where you come from or where you stand. It's possible from a small town on the southern tip of Africa to create new knowledge that has impact on the entire planet. And that's what we're celebrating today. Thank you for being here. Uh, Mintech looks for partnerships that are excellent in their nature. Uh, we look for partnerships that we know uh, will take us much further than we can fathom. And I think it goes without a saying uh, that Rhodes, together with Prof Nyopong, has done exactly that. And we are proud to be associated with you today. And please give a round of applause for that. The Magana Municipal Council requested me to tell you that you are dear friends that we will forever support in your august efforts to provide a space for future leaders to learn go on as you have you have been doing for all your existence and lead the scientific and innovation space this sort of turning must be a blessed occasion i wish you all the best thank you very much uh, it's a great feeling to be back here uh, because not only does it epitomize the fact that there's greatness that happens here, but the association with the quality of work that's done in this place, uh, the, the caliber of the researchers that you have in this place, the similarly the caliber of the students that we have in this place, the majority of them don't even realize how great they are. I would like to extend then a, congr a congratulations to you, Prof, on behalf of the INI students to say that we appreciate what we are seeing today. And this to us, what is happening is a symbolism of a platform that will allow us to reach our goals in their original form. And it is also a symbol of limitless opportunities. And from this point going forward, it's growth and not technique. I really want to commend uh, the management of the university for the great vision they've had uh, because if it wasn't for that, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here today and we wouldn't be celebrating this. Uh, lastly, I want to commend you, Prof. Um, and I know you don't know how big you are. Uh, and I, I, I would probably feel the same in your shoes. Uh, but the reality is uh, keep doing what you do. 
keep being who you are because that's what makes this place even greater. Thank you so much. This is a life-changing event. And from what I understand in terms of science, it's the creation of a body of knowledge, taking research to greater heights to say that if anyone can do it, it's you. You know that your dreams remain authentic as a person. And it is important to embody the vision that Rhodes carries where he is learning. And to be internationally acclaimed. And I do think that this event, this sort turning event, is significant to our to our vision as Rhodes University. It's significant to leaving a legacy behind, um, as stated from the different speakers, that uh, we do return to the soil at the end of our lives. So how do we then have those continuous conversations about changing research, changing information, changing how we construct ourselves as researchers, innovators, thinkers um, across the world? How do we bring the world to South Africa, for example? How do we bring the world to Rhodes University? We want to display that South Africa is home for um, many discoveries and innovations of sciences that will make an impact in the world. And no doubt, the INI is a true definition of that. We've seen we just came from the conference, and if I could tell you what mark we left there, you know, it's jaw dropping. And Prof Nyogong has been doing that for many years before and is still doing it now. And even in a generation where Professor Nyogong will no longer be there, we will still say, develop Nyogong and refer to things that are changing. And for that, I'd like to say congratulations and thank you. And I speak on behalf of the students when I say that Rhodes is a small university, but with a big heart. And we are set to do greater things that we can ever imagine. And we want to say that we are proud of Prof. Nikon. We are proud of uh, I and I. We are proud of Mintech. As an economic student, I would hear of the great achievements that Prof. Nikon has done. And I've never done chemistry before. Um, so it is great to see that Rhodes University will be brought to the world. And that is all I have to say. I don't want us to get in trouble with the contractors and constructors. Um, that's all from my side. Thank you very much and do enjoy today. Thank you. Um, the reason and the quest of all of this is academic excellence. Nothing but exactly that. And Prof Nyokong has, to my knowledge, conquered the world in ways more than I can even start to imagine or even conceive for myself. I don't think she was prepared for it. She dates as such me and other colleagues who sit around. Um, so none of this has been achieved yet, and she has um, achieved it. The Institute for Nanotechnology Innovation that will occupy this ground will continue to build on the formidable intellectual power that has been the hallmark of distinguished Professor Nyokong's research group. It will also build on the extensive global network it has developed over the years. Many top-rate researchers from across the globe, from Canada, from Sweden, from Germany, look at the list. I mean, there's a, a world map which is in your documentation to show you the extensive global reach of this incredible initiative. Canada, Brazil, I've already mentioned Germany, Sweden, Japan, and elsewhere. Researchers have come to Rhodes University to take advantage of the cutting edge equipment that is housed in our nanotechnology center and to tap in the incredible intellectual knowledge that is found here. So such is the state which it currently sits. Um, so to necessitate that uh, movement is what the building that has been built. Having been involved in it for so many years um, in, in, in its as a think tank um, with the colleagues in the department to try and find the ways of how do we relocate this so that it is fit for the purpose. It allows for the research to continue as best we can and we still continue to push the endeavors of uh, knowledge of science. This is why this building has come about. Thank you. If I had my way, 
I would recommend to the university's naming committee that we name this new building as the Nyokong Institute for Nanotechnology Innovation. You can do cutting edge research in this small university that we have some of the best equipment in this country, in this continent, in this world. We have that at this university. And so they, they feel very confident when they leave that they have received the best education, the best supervision. Perhaps what is more important is that they are able to go anywhere in the world and they can hold their own and they flourish and they continue to contribute towards knowledge. It is to contribute to our accumulated global stock of knowledge. Perhaps more fundamentally, the higher purpose of scientific research is to contribute to the improvement of the quality of life, economic prosperity, and sustainable development. So this sword turning ceremony takes place at a time when we are in the midst of reimagining or re-envisioning the future of our university as we review our very strategic document, our institutional development plan. So we have had engagements and we'll continue to have these. And these important institutional engagements will result in a bold and ambitious roadmap for our university as a distinct and a distinctive institution of higher learning in the southern tip of the African continent. We want to have a dedicated center for postgraduate studies. And that again speaks to our commitment to a strong postgraduate trajectory, to a strong research trajectory, so that even at undergraduate level, our students are exposed to the art and the skill of making knowledge through projects which stimulate them, which challenge them. So we do want to build a center for postgraduate studies. Secondly, we want to enhance the experience of our students to ensuring that we have proper facilities, sporting and recreational facilities, so that they can grow and develop holistically, not only academically, but holistically. Thirdly, we are part of Makanda, and we have committed ourselves to contribute to improving the quality of teaching and learning in the local schools. So we are looking at pathways to education in Makanda. And we also want to support our circle of unity. And fourthly, we do want to raise funds so that every academically deserving student is able to access quality and transformative education that we offer at Rhodes University. That no student would be turned back on account of the fact that they cannot afford university education. Here will stand a building which will be a monument to academic excellence, a monument to outstanding research and a monument and a fitting tribute to distinguished Professor Debelo Nyokong. I thank you.